on the Forever DVD. Uh, and uh, thank you very much. And yeah, this morning we're coming to another film, the real actress. To uh, welcome so co writer and producer of the film, and of course, Billy Lee is the director. And, Alright, thank you once again. But uh, before we commence, uh, uh, we have a distributor uh, of the film, uh, the DVD. And uh, just a reminder that uh, after this session, we have an autograph session with, with the cast and the filmmakers. But if you haven't got your Forever DVD, you can get it right outside uh, at $20.net. And today, the Forever DVD is very special. It comes with the original 35mm film strip that was projected on the screen when we were in the cinema. So it's a very rare opportunity. So we try again today, uh, not only for yourself, for your friends, for your relatives as well. And I just want to add in that each DVD has um, four images. So if you actually buy eight, that will make 24 frames. It takes one second. So if you buy eight DVDs, you can get one second of our film. Yep. Very good deal. A pitch is. <laughs> That's good. So uh, without further ado, we will just uh, start out with uh, a little chit chat uh, since uh, the three of you are here together. Uh, why let this opportunity pass? Okay, and uh, well, let's start off with uh, talking a little bit about the film, we'll introduce the film with David. Uh, what inspires you to, to, to write forever? How did you begin? Yeah, the story? Um, I think the book was actually doing a lot of government videos. I don't know why, um, anti-drug, anti-smoking, uh, you name it. And I was actually asked to do a pro-marriage video for a name um, government organization. And uh, uh, <laughs> uh, and um, I, met, I met this client who worked for this organization who was actually a stalker. And uh, so I did the video for her and, and the video went well and she was very happy with it. And, um, I think there are maybe one or two people in this room that maybe might appear in the video. Um, <laughs> um, but to the jet stalker, by stalker you mean she's stalking you or she's no, stalking you? No, she wasn't like stalking me. And she told me after the end of the project, she said that she actually didn't believe in marriage. So I was really quite shocked because she worked for an organization that promoted marriage. She worked for an organization that promoted marriage. And I did this whole video to promote marriage in Singapore. And then she told me she was actually anti marriage. And she actually had a very bad breakup and she was talking about her ex. And she was very um, matter of fact for me. So her character was more of a stable attraction, a gentle stable attraction type of character, much darker and menacing. The type of person that you just don't want to meet in a dark corridor. <laughs> or date for that matter. Um, but I really wanted Joey to be kind of a heroine that, you know, that she would see herself as a heroine in a rom com. She may have unusual methodologies in approaching romance, but basically she, she didn't have ego and she wasn't she wasn't malicious. Yeah. Um, so her, her character was a lot lighter than the real character that I met. But I was inspired by this real fatal attraction mm -hmm. Alex Forrest type character. Um, so she actually write the story. And then I met Sylvia and I told her the story. She's like, I think this is very good. And I'm like, really? Oh. And then we decided to go on the street together and we developed it. It's not fun, yeah. Okay, so you wrote in Sylvia to the device. Yes, because she was as demented as me. <laughs> <laughs> no, she was actually far less demented as me. But it was, it was a lot of fun, and we, 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 we talked about our own ideals of uh, our, our marriage. Mm -hmm. All very good, as you can tell. As you um, can tell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and we, we thought it would be interesting to talk about a character that um, was actually kind of a rebel, but worked for an organization that was in rebellion. So we were interested in this contradiction, and that was what inspired me, um, you know, but yeah, the real character that I met was, was, was quite scary. Of course. And I went on my true way of heart. And I said, because my husband, he said, where is she now? I don't know, I'm true way of heart. That night, when she told me, because I finished the project, see, I'm getting into the long story now, because it is rather compelling, isn't it? I mean, so I, 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 so I'm very curious to see so how... So after I finished the video, <laughs> She had a darker version. Joey became the Joey. Before, before Joyla. And um, I saw I'd done the video, and actually the video went well, and she was, she was very pleased with it. But she was quite a strict client, and, and, and I thought, oh, it's going to be one of those videos that's going to be a real long, long drop, and time keeps asking for changes. But she saw the first time, and she was really pleased. And, um, and then that night, she, she actually told me all about herself, because I didn't know anything about her. 
Yeah. Just pause the soul. Yeah, she, and, and it was very scary because it was very late, it was really like midnight, and then there was me, her, and the sound guy, and the sound guy was really frightened. Then after how many before it's like, oh, it just <laughs> shut off the yeah, it was really scared. <laughs> And then when I came home that night, I threw away the phone. I was so frightened. Yeah. But instead, you took away you know, the gist of the story, the character. Yeah, no, and I, I, think, I think I put it in the back of my mind. Then when I was in Italy, actually, for gone dropping my first film, I was at a film festival, the premiere of uh, uh, the festival premiere. Um, we were a bunch of filmmakers and we were all talking about strange projects that we all had done. So one guy said he was a boom op for porno. So, uh, <laughs> no worries. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you don't know what that is. Yeah. And, um, and then you know, some other guy said he did a karaoke video, which is no shame with that actually. And, um, <laughs> and, um, and I said this was, the weirdest, this was the weirdest project I had done. And then coincidentally, in the fray of the people that I met was Sylvia's former colleague, uh, Steve Kremlin, from Screen International, oh, yep. where Sylvia used to work at, and Steve was like, we have to make this into a film. Like, uh, we said yes, and the title of the film should be forever. Yeah. Really, like, so Steve actually uh, coined the title. Coined the title. Oh, right. Yeah. And then he emailed Sylvia, and then when I got to meet Sylvia, so it was, it was very funny how it all fell into place. Yeah, just, yeah. And say the rest is true. Yeah. So we know how it started and how you got to start working with Sylvia. Yeah. Yeah, but as, as the process goes on, yeah, so is the writing process. Like, mm -hmm. How did it work between you and Sylvia? Because I understand Sylvia is a good writer. Yeah. Like, did you split? Like, should she write certain scenes, you write certain scenes? Or you can just brainstorm? How was how, how the process like? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes, you know, ideas happen. Uh, yeah. uh, you know, 
what at, at the last moment and like, you know, we think it's a good idea to put it in. So, so make the whole what comes the best. Yeah, yeah, and I can just keep open mind. Okay, so basically the answer is there's no good state. <laughs> the man has scripts to be ready. Yeah. Yeah. It's good to have a date, right? Yeah, that's always helpful for sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe now we can move on to uh, more of Joanna. Like, uh, okay, how, how did it start? I know you didn't like to do auditions. Is that how it started for you?